Financial statements are the end product and one of the most important products of the accounting cycle. When we say financial statements, we typically refer to the balance sheet, the income statement, the statement of cash flows, and the statement of owner's equity. The adjusted trial balance forms the basis for the financial statements. All four financial statements connect with each other to form a complete picture of the financial aspects of an organization. These statements must be prepared in the following order, as each statement interrelates with the prior statement. The first is the income statement, which measures revenues and expenses and arrives at net income or net loss for a specific time period. Net income from the income statement flows to the statement of owner's equity. Net income or loss is very important because it explains the change in retained earnings from one accounting period to the next. Second is the statement of owner's equity, also known as statement of stockholder's equity. This statement displays changes in owner's equity from period to period. Net income from the income statement plus additional cash investment by the owner less any withdrawals by the owner equals the increase or decrease in owner's equity. The ending owner's equity balance then flows to the balance sheet. For example, Urban Bicycles reported a $25,000 net income in 2017. The equity for Urban Bicycles at the beginning of 2017 was $45,000. The company grew from within by $25,000, its 2017 net income. Some owners invested an additional $10,000 while others withdrew $5,000, causing another net $5,000 increase. Altogether, equity went from $45,000 to $75,000. Third is the balance sheet. The balance sheet represents a snapshot in time of an organization's assets, liabilities, and equity. It is typically prepared at the end of the period, whether it's a month, quarter, or year. The balance sheet connects with the income statement by way of retained earnings. Beginning retained earnings for the current period, plus net income, and minus dividends declared, equals ending retained earnings on the balance sheet. The balance sheet also connects with the statement of cash flows. The statement of cash flows classifies cash receipts and payments by operating, investing, and financing activities during a specific time period. Ending cash on the statement of cash flows equals the cash balance on the balance sheet.